the second topic of uh, my presentation is the patellofemoral pain. The patellofemoral pain is a very important uh, disease that affects uh, that affects mainly young adults, especially females. We will see why. Uh, the patellofemoral pain usually is the main cause of the anterior knee pain, as we have said, especially in the young adults, or young female adults. Uh, there are many predisposing factors. Uh, usually, any factor that increases the patellofemoral pressure uh, will cause this uh, softening of the cartilaginous layer of the patella. The problem here is, here is not a degeneration in the cartilage, but it's hyperpressure in the patellofemoral joint, which causes uh, congestion in the subchondral bone and, as a consequence, uh, anterior knee pain. So, any cause that um, uh, cause uh, any uh, factor that cause hyperpressure in the patellofemoral joint, uh, any traumatic uh, injury, any uh, malcongruence between the patella and the femur, the increase of uh, the Q angle, the quadricipital angle, as we see here. The Q angle is the angle between the mechanical axis and the uh, axis of the quadriceps. Here is the uh, mechanical axis, and here the uh, axis of the action of the quadriceps. We can, uh, we can measure, it, uh, measure this angle, Q angle, by drawing a line from the anterior superior iliac spine to the center of the patella, and from the center of the patella to the anterior tibial tubercle. This angle usually um, affects the mobility of the patella. When it's uh, bigger, especially than uh, 20 degrees, uh, uh, what we see usually uh, in female, the, this causes lateral deviation of the patella during its motion in the sulcus of the uh, intercondylar sulcus. So it will cause hyperpressure of the patellofemoral joint and, uh, as a consequence, uh, chondromalacia patella. Any cause or any factor that cause uh, patellar malposition, like uh, patella alta or high riding patella, or even any muscular imbalance that will cause a deviation in the uh, ac uh, axis of motion of the patella during flexion and extension of the knee. Uh, what uh, what happens in the uh, chondromalacia patella? In chondromalacia patella, we have uh, uh, overhydration of the cartilage. We have loss of proteoglycans and uh, the cartilage becomes soft. And there is a subchondral congestion, which will cause anterior knee pain. Uh, the patient usually complains of anterior knee pain, uh, pa uh, pain especially at climbing the stairs and or for when he stands for a long time. Uh, some kind of uh, giving way, some kind of joint effusion, or some, and some kind of locking of the knee. The clinical signs are usually quadriceps at atrophy because the disuse or uh, the decrease amount of use of the, of the muscle because of the pain. Uh, knee effusion, patellar tenderness, uh, when we press the patella on the femur, it causes pain of the pa uh, to the patient. Crepitation during knee motion in the patellofemoral joint and the uh, grinding test is positive. Uh, that is, the, uh, pressing the patella will cause, uh, uh, and the consequent quadriceps contraction uh, will elicit the pain in the femoropatellar or patellofemoral joint. And we, uh, when we measure the Q angle, usually it's more than... 20 especially in uh, in young females. The x-ray usually we, we do anterior, uh, anterior posterior and lateral uh, x-ray for the normal knee evaluation. But for the uh, patellofemoral joint evaluation, we should do skyline view. In skyline view, we see uh, the position of the patella in the, uh, in the sulcus, intercondylar sulcus, and at the, uh, if there if there is any lateral deviation, it will be obvious, especially at the first degrees of flexion. 
at 30 and 45 degrees of flexion. At the lateral view of the uh, of the knee, we can see, we can measure the, uh, the the length of the patella and the length of the patellar tendon. And usually in normal individuals, it is uh, approximately one. But if we have patella alta, so the uh, length of the patellar tendon is more than the length of the patella. The treatment of the chondromalacia patella is, is important. As all joint pain, uh, usually the first treatment is conservative by activity modification, by strengthening, strengthening of the vastus medialis to improve the motion of the patella and uh, the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And, uh, and uh, usually here we do not need intraarticular cortisone injection because rarely we have uh, synovitis. We have the pain, the cause of the pain is the subchondral bone congestion. The surgical treatment usually uh, to treat the existing deformity and we, we use usually the uh, surgical treatment when the conservative treatment fails after six months of trial, six months of uh, months of trial, or the patient is uh, uh, non-cooperative. This uh, this uh, picture indicates the types of uh, exercises that usually the physiotherapist uh, can use to strengthen the vastus medialis. The aim of the surgery is to, to modify uh, the patellofemoral motion, either by lateral release of the lateral patellar retinaculum, which tracts laterally, uh, or by tibial medial tibial transposition. So uh, th these two measures can decrease the Q angle. Uh, sometimes we, we, we do chondroplasty by Schaefer through arthroscopy, or in a rare case and in extreme cases, we can do patellectomy. We resect the patella and we repair the uh, uh, quadricipital tendon. Uh, this will cause relief of the pain. And lastly, we may use arthroplasty. We, we may replace the patellofemoral joint with the artificial uh, arthroplasty artificial joint. And now we reach the end of uh, our topic, degenerative diseases and patellofemoral joint. I wish um, it was helpful for you. You should, uh, you should study well and continue uh, the lectures uh, in, in person in the lecture room. Thank you.